But bravery doesn't demand the absence of fear, the absence of trepidation. Instead, bravery beckons us to move ahead despite the fear, despite the trepidation. It's a canvas where uncertainty and courage blend together, creating a masterpiece of untamed possibilities and unexpected triumphs. This is your artist's journey in the truest essence, and you've got to learn to embrace it. Ready to embark on a journey of boundless creativity, purpose, and adventure as an artistic soul? Hey, I'm Lara Bianca Pilcher. I'm passionate about empowering artists like you to live out your creative dreams and nurture yourself at the core of your artistic journey. Let's explore the art of vibrant living and creative expression. As an artist, actor, writer, and showbiz educator with over 20 years of experience in the arts and entertainment industry across the globe, London, Australia, and now Atlanta, USA, I'm here to guide you through the mess and magic of this ever-evolving creative life. From performing on TV, film and stage to roles both on and off stage, my journey in the arts has woven a diverse tapestry of experiences. This positions me to help you navigate the path to unlocking the full potential of your artistic soul. Alongside my auditions, submissions and industry hustles, I've had the privilege of educating artists and living a joyful marriage with two wonderful kids. Expect genuine conversations from real life lessons, struggles and triumphs that have shaped my journey. It's a journey I'm excited to share with you. This is your masterclass in how to craft a fulfilling, vibrant and art-filled life. Get ready for the Healthy, Wealthy, Wise Artist podcast, your key to unlocking the full potential of your artistic soul. Stay tuned for enlightening conversations, practical tips and inspiring stories that will elevate your purpose, adventure and creativity. Let's go. Look, embarking on a journey as an artist is a wild adventure. At least that's how I want to train you to think. So in this exploration, I, Lara, passionate performing artist and writer, invite you to delve into a world of unlocking your creative potential while overcoming obstacles and embracing all of life's unpredictable twists and turns. They can be exciting when you switch that mindset. I'm going to teach you how I do. So let's journey together as we uncover the secrets to embracing your artist journey, unleashing your creativity, overcoming the obstacles and challenges while pursuing your dreams. Embracing creativity's wild ride. Let's start with my journey from Perth, Western Australia to London and beyond. During my own epic and slightly ridiculous adventure, my husband and I, the not so secret agents of creativity, as I said, lived in Perth, Western Australia. It's a beautiful oasis, probably the world's most isolated city. It's down under and then to the left. (laughs) It's a place where professional performing artist opportunities can feel as scarce as a unicorn sighting and professional artistic opportunities can feel very rare, rarer than winning the lottery. Well, that's how it felt for me. But it didn't stop me because I was determined to turn that desert into a fertile oasis of imagination and artistic wonder. And I did that for over a decade. I had my own dance studio. I had my lots of performing teams. I was touring the world. Because I didn't have a lot of opportunity there, I would go and find it by travel, something that I really believe is a great part of the artist adventure. You know, in that season of my creative journey, I could have easily moved or given up, you know, moved like a lot of artists did uh, in Australia to Sydney or Melbourne, which I later did. But... I could have given in to the notion that there was nothing worthwhile in that season, letting my artistic gifts and talents lay dormant. However, I made a conscious decision not to let those obstacles define my path. Instead, I embraced the challenges, took on my own projects, and wholeheartedly embraced every opportunity that came my way. And even though those endeavors might have been on a smaller scale compared to what I've lived out since, they laid a strong foundation for my journey to places like London, Sydney, New York and beyond. It's now a testament in my life to the power of cultivating creative thinking within my project ideas and bringing our unique gifts to the world. 
So I now share and teach on this mindset of changing your challenges and obstacles into an adventurous artistic journey, living with purpose, and encouraging you to shift your perspective to one that fosters innovation and growth in your journey. However, my insatiable thirst for artist life and adventure eventually did lead me to the sprawling metropolis of London. And I'm talking about your artist journey and reflection of my own. So picture this, my husband and I, two Aussies, armed with backpacks and a dream in our hearts, a wild dream, ready to take on the land of tea and crumpets and posh accents. It wasn't that hard actually, because my husband's half British. His father is from London and his um, mother is Australian. They married in the UK and then moved to Australia. So it was in our DNA to be there. (laughs) You know, we initially planned to just go for seven months, but we didn't know that London would captivate our souls for an astonishing seven years because it was like being caught in a time warp where days turned to weeks and weeks to months and months. You get the idea. But it was this place and I was back recently and I thought, why do I miss this season so much? And I realize it's not just the city. It's what happened in that city for me in my life. And that hopefully can be happening for you wherever you are. But it was a time where I really spread my creative wings and broadened my skill sets as an artist because I could. I could access training at all levels, all times of the day and all, all different styles of art. I could also in that season see myself getting my roots as an artist going so much deeper in embracing the artist journey. Very much what this episode's about. It's about unleashing creativity, overcoming challenges while pursuing your dreams. Let's talk about creating your opportunities along the artist journey. Because for me, this light bulb moment happened in London and illuminated in my mind as I stepped into the enchanted world of West End musicals. I was surrounded by what you think of in London, singing divas, dancing chimney sweeps. And I realized that opportunities were everywhere, like missing socks that you find behind the washing machine. It was a reminder that even when the door of opportunity might seem closed, you have the power to kick it open with all of your creative might. And I learned about the art of knocking on doors and pushing doors open. And it's something that I now teach because I think it's really important that you develop that muscle. For me, London was this wild roller coaster ride filled with cover letters and CVs and auditions that would make even the bravest souls quiver. I remember auditioning for Wicked and the major musicals and you know, walking up those stairs with my knees trembling and thinking weird thoughts like this is why artists drink (laughs) because it's so scary. But I learned to flip that fear in everything that I did in my mind to adventure. And I learned that sometimes you just have to dive headfirst into the unknown, even if it means landing face first in a pile of rejection letters to get the breakthrough that you finally seek. And it's all part of the comedy of being an artist, my friends. I learned to truly embrace chaos in the arts pursuit as adventure. So the punchline here is don't be afraid of the chaos. You gotta get a little silly when you create your own opportunities. Life's a grand improvisation and sometimes your best moments are gonna happen or could have already happened when you least expected them. Let's dive a little deeper into the essence of this journey. There are moments when your life can feel arid like a desert, unyielding, when it's tempting to succumb to the inertia of challenges. But you know what? In those moments, you need to gather your courage and just dive in. It's as if you're putting on your creativity cape, picking up imaginary uh, paintbrush, defiantly splashing vibrant hues on the canvas of your circumstances. Now, this isn't about sugarcoating the artist's path. It's about acknowledging the resistance, fear and doubts and then daring to overcome them. I don't just offer these words as a fleeting idea. I actively teach and coach on this very concept. I help others confront and conquer what holds them back because navigating these inhibitions is an integral part of the artist's journey that we all want to embark on. We all want to live that vibrant artist's life. I also want to share that there are no rules on the artist's journey. It's a wild and whimsical journey, this artist's life. There's no rules, just endless possibilities. So you've got to laugh, dream, 
and embark on that adventure. It's a path of audacious creation, the quest to mold imagination and dreams into reality. This invitation to embrace isn't just for those who've already reveled in their creative wonders and essences of of what they carry, but it's for those of you who are sitting on the edge, uncertain about the artistic plunge. This message is for you if you find yourself doubting in one area or held back by fear or societal norms. You might think the artist's journey isn't for someone like you. Or you might have already been walking it and finding it too hard because you're facing too many challenges in the pursuit of your artistry and the life you really want. And I understand that struggle. I've been there. And it's precisely for this reason that I made it my mission to not only teach but to inspire, to guide artists and everyday individuals alike into stepping into risk, calculated risk. Because it's within the embrace that we unfurl our fullest potential, the embrace of risk, moving forward beyond our inhibitions and daring to weave our stories into the world. This is how we can live a vibrant, art-filled life. Let's talk about fully embracing your creative gifts and passions. Now, if you're already an artist walking out your gifts, there's something I want to teach you in this, so hang on there. The artistic world is like a tapestry of diverse talents and passions and every individual's unique creative essence enriches our culture and innovation. Everything, all of the contributions are like we're all contributing to the body of work and saying this is my angle, this is my piece of the pie. So whether you're a seasoned artist or just beginning your creative journey, Your contribution really does matter regardless of your background because it's like you're all writing a piece of the story and saying this is what I want to contribute to what's out there. So recognize your worth and nurture it. Nurture your creative abilities because that's the foundation for a really fulfilling artistic path and journey ahead of you. Now to help you take tangible action I've put some reflections that you can do if you're at home and you've got a journal. If you're if you're in the car, obviously you can do it later or ask Siri to write you a reminder. Um, but here's some things that can help kick off some of these things in your life. So take a minute to reflect on your creative talents. And I want you to either write it down or share it with another person if you're in a group. Discuss with the other person or your journal how you can further nurture and celebrate your creative passions. Now for me, I'm an actor. Sometimes I forget to celebrate and nurture at the level that I need to, to really thrive. So don't think, oh, I've got that already. No, actually really think and reflect, how can I further nurture what I carry? There is a lot to navigate, obstacles, overcoming self-doubt, and a lot of creatives on the artist's journey grapple with persistent self-doubt and the looming fear of failure. These challenges, though daunting, need not wield the power to define your creative journey. Here's where the switch occurs, where your mindset takes center stage. This isn't about mustering up grandiose self-declarations, nor does it necessitate hundreds of hours of therapy, although I'm all for it because I've had a lot myself. It's a simple yet profound recognition. I, as a creative, shape the world around me with the choreography and brushstrokes of my mindset. So it's like saying today, I choose to wield this power deliberately. It's not about thinking positive fluffy thoughts. It's about genuinely embracing the understanding that my perspective can fundamentally alter my path. And this is not mere fluff. It is a foundational pivot that transforms every facet of your artist's journey. Instead of grappling with your doubts, you're crafting your convictions. Instead of fearing failure, you're embracing the growth that arises from every challenge. And remember not to do this alone. You can and should be intentionally stepping into a creative community where shared experiences become the cornerstone of encouragement and inspiration. Because in the end, every setback and obstacle takes on a new hue 
when viewed through the lens of intentional mindset shaping. So when I said before the choreography of your mind, it's just a a beautiful artistic way to look at, not just looking at your art, but how can I actually artistically create the way of thinking that's going to serve my life. Each challenge then becomes a stepping stone, a marker of growth and learning. This mindset, this conscious choice is what I teach. Through it, I've helped countless individuals refine their perspective, sparking like a cascade of transformation or change in their life. It's time to remember that as a creative, you're not just a passenger on the journey waiting for somebody else to say yes to you. You're the captain, charting a course through the seas of your imagination and determination. Make sure you remember that you're the captain. So here's a little creative spark, a little application. Share with your journal or a friend a personal experience that you've had where you have overcome self-doubt or a creative roadblock. Because it's in sharing that we bring it out of the dark places in our soul, our mind, will and emotions, and bring it into the light. And that's where we get healing and help. So share strategies with somebody else to overcome challenges better in the future and hear their strategies. And if you've got no one to talk to right now, this is a great thing to call up and say, hey, like last time you had a really big self-doubt as an artist, how did you overcome that? What do you do? What is it like for you? Because we can learn from each other, that collaboration, not only of art, but of how to survive the artist's journey in a thriving way, in a vibrant way. Embracing the artist's journey requires stepping out of your comfort zone and embracing new creative adventures. Collaboration and setting tangible SMART goals, Google that if you need to, are essential. I have dared to dream big, whether it's in producing shows, partnering with fellow artists, or pursuing new creative horizons. However, it takes bravery to keep stepping forward into your big dreams. The art of bravery is this nuanced stance between acknowledging the tremors of fear that course through you, and I felt those, yet still daring to take the step forward. It's about recognizing the barriers that stand tall, understanding their origins, and then summoning the audacity to challenge their dominance in our lives. But bravery doesn't demand the absence of fear the absence of trepidation. Instead, bravery beckons us to move ahead despite the fear, despite the trepidation. It's a canvas where uncertainty and courage blend together, creating a masterpiece of untamed possibilities and unexpected triumphs. This is your artist's journey in the truest essence and you've got to learn to embrace it So a little application here is you could set a specific goal for a creative project that you've been longing to pursue, share it with somebody else or journal it and discuss or write how to take the next or the first brave step towards this. Life challenges may hit hard, leaving bruises and scars. I've been there. But remember there's strength within you to rise again. Surround yourself with a supportive community that uplifts and inspires you. Intentionally building such a community isn't just a happenstance, something that just happens. Although for some people, like if you're in college, it does because you've got an arts community already around you or or whatever. But when you leave, often you have to be very intentional. It's this purposeful endeavor that amplifies your resilience. So seek spaces where your aspirations and struggles are met with understanding and encouragement. Engage in creative circles, both online and offline, that resonate with your journey and values. Participate in workshops, webinars, or local meetups to connect with kindred spirits who share your passion, share your story openly and genuinely For vulnerability is often the bridge that connects arts, hearts and minds and actually creates the community that you want in its truest form. My journey, look, I faced visa complexities in the USA, finding new community, but 
overcoming this, this, these challenges, flipping them to an adventure, attest to the transforma- transformative power of unyielding determination and the unexpected support that arises when you need it most. Embracing a new community was a pivotal chapter in my story. It wasn't just about receiving help, but about engaging, contributing and nurturing relationships. As you step into your own journey, remember that the community you seek is waiting to embrace you, grow with you and amplify your artistic endeavors beyond what you thought was possible. Let me paint a beautiful picture for you. Imagine your creativity, your artistry, as a hidden garden within you, awaiting the touch of water to burst into bloom. Like a garden, it flourishes when it's tended to with care and intention. Even during periods of creative dryness, it's important to keep cultivating. Just as a garden expands with diverse flora and flowers, explore new art forms and mediums to invigorate your artistic spirit. Engage with inspiring shows, exhibitions, bands, and art that infuses life into your imagination. Just as water nurtures the roots, embrace curiosity, attend performances, lose yourself in museums, and seek out creative conversations. Let these moments be the rain that feeds your artistic soil, allowing your garden of creativity to thrive and blossom each petal is like a testament to your dedication. So a little creative spark, an application is to brainstorm in your journal or with your friends, creative activities to incorporate into your daily life that nurture intentionally your inner artist. Share your ideas and seek inspiration from others. Like I said, sometimes other people have these great ideas that we just never thought of. The artist's journey can unfurl without limits, extending an open invitation to all souls eager to journey, express and unearth their unparalleled artistic might. So step boldly into every role within life, whether commanding the spotlight or behind the curtains. Treasure the creative process as it weaves its intricate threads, forging a choreography of moments that create a vibrant life for you. Celebrate every step towards your dreams for both your artistry and the vibrant life you seek to live. Sometimes we forget, celebrate every little moment that you move towards what you truly want in life. Because you have the power to create your art, but also unbreakable bonds with a community of creatives, where the inspiration for creativity is stirred to new levels and your dreams ignite with the shared fervor of other artists. I recently returned from a stirring of my creative well, so to speak. I got back from Europe and led an arts intensive week there of all different art forms and picture on a, <laughs> this remote, gorgeous little village in Europe, all these artists coming to just be watered in their art and creativity. And in doing that, in watering other artists, I was watered myself. And it was just a beautiful time by being in community. So reflect for a minute in your journal, little spark. Reflect on the diverse talents around you and share how you can encourage and support each other's creative endeavors. In conclusion about the artist's journey, unleashing creativity, overcoming challenges and pursuing dreams. Remember that pursuing creativity is an invitation to infuse your life with passion, adventure, and purpose. Your journey might be unconventional. It might be challenging and require perseverance. Mine has, but I'm going to tell you that the rewards far outweigh the struggles. My story reminds us to step into the unknown, embrace uncertainty, and say yes to life's wildest possibilities. I've said yes to crazy things. In the middle of the Melbourne lockdown, I was offered a job in California at an arts conservatory. I said yes. Our family moved in a matter of weeks to the other side of the world. I've said yes to producing shows when I'm like, I'm not a producer, I'm a performer. I've said yes to putting on my own work. Practice the art of yeses to life's wildest possibilities. Celebrate your bravery 
nurture your creativity and continue to paint the canvas of your life with these audacious strokes of imagination, fully embracing the artist's journey, unleashing your creativity, overcoming challenges while continuing to pursue your wildest dreams. Thank you again for listening and joining me on this exhilarating expedition. Keep creating and daring to dream. Make sure you go to my website, larabiancapilcher.com to check out other podcast episodes and blog posts that can help water your artistic garden (laughs) with you on the journey, friend. Bye. Phew, today's masterclass is done. I love reaching back and saying I've done this and helping you learn the easy way. If you want more, head to larabiancapilcher.com for show notes, links, freebies, my blog, coaching and courses. And you can also head to my socials, larabiancapilcher on Instagram and Facebook. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest. Thanks again for listening. Please leave a review on Apple Podcasts. That would mean the world to me. And of course, keep on living the healthy, wealthy, wise artist living towards your dream life. Bye, friends. P.S. Shout out to my hottie hubby, Andrew Pilcher, who does all the editing on this podcast. <laughs>